Welcome to tutorial 3 part 2 of the work plan tutorial for the Performance Management Appraisal System PMAS. I am Corporal Rashimo Gordon. And I am Sean J. Mitchell. We are your presenters. What is an individual work plan? An individual work plan is a detailed pre-planned account of how an individual proposes to accomplish major and specific tasks. It should be developed in consultation between supervisors and employees with objectives to be achieved, agreed and prioritized for the period. It is derived from the station or divisional work plan where the individual is attached and is mandated to carry out specific duties to achieve the overall objectives of the station or division or formation. It is written for a prescribed period, usually a year, and contains critical components. These components are 1. The unit plan objectives 2. Individual objectives 3. Major tasks 4. Targets 5. Performance indicators 6. Critical resources required The other components are 1. The evaluation score 2. Actual results and three remarks are completed at the end of the year by the supervisors. It is important that the name, rank or position and employee number of the individual is outlined. Now Sergeant Mitchell will define each component. The unit objectives. You would recall the unit objectives that were developed from the strategic priorities outlined in the unit plan. Unit objectives are aligned to the strategic priorities of the organization and seek to address the unique issues facing the respective areas, branches, divisions, and formations. They provide a broad picture of a desired goal to be attained. Individual objectives. Individual objectives are related to the unit plan objectives and the job function of the individual. Major tasks are those critical functions or activities that must be carried out in order to accomplish the objective. Targets and performance standards. A target or performance standard is a measurable performance or success level that an individual plans to achieve within a specified time period. It could be seen as those incremental elements that will be used to attain your objectives. Remember, targets can either be quantitative or qualitative and must be written bearing the acronym SMART in mind. In instances where it may be difficult to quantify the target, performance standards may be used to accomplish the same goal. Performance standards are those observable behaviors and actions which explain how the job is to be done. The purpose of the standard is to communicate expectations. For the purpose of this work plan, targets and performance standard may be used interchangeably. Performance indicators. Performance indicators, whether qualitative or quantitative, are designed to track the achievement of targets. Critical resources required are those vital assets required to carry out the major tasks and activities. Constraints are factors that restrict or limit individuals from carrying out major tasks or activities effectively. The evaluation score is the overall mark on a scale of 1 to 5 that an individual can receive. It is located in the top right-hand corner of the template. The actual result is a score obtained based on the performance of the individual. Now that we have defined the key terms, let's take a look at populating the template. Recall the station or unit objectives. Reduction in serious and violent crimes, especially robberies and shootings. For the sergeant, an individual objective would be to quote, improve operational effectiveness and management of the station or unit, unquote, to contribute to the overall achievement of the unit objective. The major tasks for achieving this objective could include 1. Plan and conduct operational activities in crime hotspots. 2. Coordinate and conduct high visibility patrols in crime hotspots and business districts. 3. Organize and attend community meetings in policing areas. Now let's look at the targets and performance indicators. 1. For the major task of planning and conducting operational activities in crime hotspots, two targets would be 3 VCPs and PCPs per week in policing area effective April 1st, 2014. 
three raids per week targeting gang members operating within the policing area, effective April 1, 2014. The corresponding performance indicators would be the number of VCPs, PCPs conducted, the number of raids conducted, and the number of gang members arrested. 2. To coordinate and conduct high visibility patrols in crime hotspots and business districts, you could set the target. Conduct two foot patrols in the business district during the peak hours. Conduct two daily mobile patrols in the crime hotspots. Conduct at least four monthly walkthroughs in the communities. The corresponding performance indicators will be the number of foot patrols conducted, number of daily mobile patrols, and the number of walkthroughs conducted. Let us take the major task. Organize and attend community meetings in policing area. We could look at the targets. Two monthly community meetings conducted by no later than March 1st, 2014. Resuscitate at least two neighborhood watch in police area by December 31st, 2014. Attend at least four neighborhood watch meetings per month. The performance indicators would be the number of community meetings held, number of participants attended, number of neighborhood watch groups resuscitated, number of neighborhood watch meetings held during the period, and the number of neighborhood watch meetings attended. Four, one of the major tasks of a station sergeant would be to conduct briefing and debriefing of members going on or coming off duty. You may want to ensure that at least 95% of personnel deployed on duty are briefed prior to the commencement of duties and are debriefed upon the conclusion of the duties. The corresponding performance indicators would be the number of personnel briefed and debriefed and the number of briefing and debriefing sessions held. Now let's look briefly at the other major tasks of a sergeant mentioned earlier. Organize and conduct station lectures on human rights and other policies. Your targets are weekly station lectures to include force policies effective no later than the 1st of January 2014. Performance indicators are the number of station lectures conducted and the number of personnel in attendance. Manage the utilization of resources and care of government properties. Targets are conduct weekly inspections of station records and government properties should commence no later than the 1st of March 2014. All appropriate entries made in the relevant register before completion of your tour of duty must be checked. The performance indicators are number of inspections conducted and number of accurate entries made in the appropriate registers. Monitoring and certification of station diary. The targets for this are daily inspection and certification of station diary. The performance indicators are the number of diary certifications properly completed based on agreed duty forecasts. The sergeant administers station duties ensuring policies and procedures are adhered to. The targets for this are 95% of HQ files must be processed and returned within 7 days. 100% reports and correspondences submitted within the specified time given. The performance indicators for this are number of HQ files processed and returned within specified time, the number of reports and correspondences submitted on a timely basis, and the number of returns submitted. The sergeant also supervises juniors as it relates to matters reported to the police. The targets for this are 100% reports are investigated, completed, and submitted within agreed timelines. The performance indicators for this are reports completed and submitted within agreed timeline and the number of reports properly constructed. 10. The major task would be to prepare and submit duty forecast and schedule in collaboration with other officers. The target would be to prepare duty forecast and submit one week in advance. The performance indicator would be the number of duty forecasts prepared. 11. The major task would be to ensure follow-up checks are provided for reports of a critical nature. Example, threats. The target would be all follow-up checks are done in accordance with established standards. The performance indicator would be the number of follow-ups carried out. 12. 
The major task would be to conduct investigations of a serious or critical nature, example, service vehicle accidents, fire, demonstrations, or unrest. The target would be 100% interim or comprehensive reports submitted within 48 hours after the incident or the report. The performance indicator would be the number of reports investigated and submitted within the specified time. 13. The major task would be to develop and implement reward and recognition system. The target would be reward and recognition system developed by April 1, 2014. The reward and recognition system is developed and implemented within the agreed timeline. The performance indicator would be the number of personnel receiving accolades and commendations. Now that we have explored the individual plan of a sergeant, let us look at that of a council using the same objectives. 1. Reduction in serious and violent crimes, especially robberies and shootings. For the council, an individual objective would be to execute operational activities to achieve station objectives. The major tasks and corresponding targets and performance indicators for achieving this objective could include 1. Participate in all operational activities assigned. For this task, we could consider the targets A. 100% VCP participated in as detailed. B. 100% raids participated in as detailed. The performance indicators would be that of the number of VCPs and raids conducted. Another major task could be to 1. Participate and conduct high visibility patrols in crime, hotspots and business districts. The targets would include A. Two weekly foot patrols in the business district during the peak hours. B. Two mobile patrols per week. And C. At least four monthly walkthroughs in communities. Now let's take a look at the other major tasks and corresponding targets and performance indicators for the constable. First, let's look at the major tasks. Serve writs, warrants, subpoenas, and other processes. And the targets are serve and or endorse warrants, etc. within five working days or as stated by the SOPs of the receipt. And the performance indicators are the number of warrants served and properly endorsed. The second major task is the constable should prepare and maintain logs, records, and files. The targets are update logs, records, and files weekly. The performance indicators for this are logs, etc. are updated. The third major task of the constable is make follow-up checks for reports of a critical nature, example threats. The targets for this are all follow-up checks are done in accordance with established standards. The performance indicator is follow-ups are carried out. The fourth major task of the constable is conduct traffic duties. The target for this is submit traffic return to the sub-officer in charge within a specified time. And the performance indicator is the number of returns submitted within the specified timeline. This takes us to the end of another PMAS tutorial. We hope you are better equipped to develop your individual work plan. Please feel free to make your queries by contacting the Research Planning and Legal Services branch at 908-4487-908-4744 or send an email to rplsb.ppmu at jcf.gov.jm. Representatives are waiting to assist you. I am Corporal Rashima Gordon. And I am Sergeant Sean J. Mitchell. Thanks for watching.